today's gonna be a tutorial for this look that I'm wearing right now. Uh, I think this is more of a springified eye look because I wanted to use some color. I'm wearing a really bright blue shadow, pink, and purple. So I think this is also maybe a good look for those of you who want to ease into wearing some color on your eyes for the spring or summer season. It's not too, too intense, but you can definitely, you know, the color definitely shows up and you can see it, um, but still wearable, I think. So if you want to see how I did it, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off with this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And what I like to do to apply this is kind of layer it on. So I'll apply it all over my lid and then tap it out with my finger and blend it up through the crease and just keep doing that until I get the level of brightness that I want. Then I'm going to use a matte gray. I'm using Copper Plate by MAC. So that color is just going to go on right in the center of the lid and I'm patting that on with an E60 brush. Just gonna use an E40 to soften that color and blend it out a bit. Then I'm gonna reach for my Vice palette. I'm using the color uh, down here in this corner called Laced. It's just kind of a neutral beige. I'm lightly applying that right into the crease and blending it up with that same E40 brush, just so there's a little bit of color there and it's not stark white all the way up to my eyebrow. Then I'm going to go back in with this E25 brush and using this hot pink shadow called Noise. It does have a little bit of golden glitter in it, which I don't really want to show up, so I'm tapping off the glitter on the edge of the palette. That is just going to go right in this outer V right here. I want that to show up around the blue that I'm about to put down, so I'm just keeping it right in this outer corner. I'm just making V-shaped motions with my brush. Okay, so once I have that on there, like I want it, I'm going to blend it out, and I'm not going directly into the shadow. I'm just lightly tracing around the outer edges. That way I don't blend the color everywhere. I just want it to be right in that outer corner, and I'm using that same E40 blending brush my go-to. I'm going to use a pencil brush. This is an E30 to apply this color. It's called Chaos. It's kind of a, I was going to say like a neon cornflower blue, but I think it's more of, it's a really bright indigo color. Right between, kind of between the gray and the pink. And I'm just making the same motion that I did with the pink eyeshadow. But since it's a smaller brush and I'm just sticking in a smaller area, it's going to be a little bit more concentrated. A little bit along the upper lash line and then just a tiny bit up into the crease and then blend. So I'm backtracking with my brushes like I usually do so going back to the E25 and just taking that right over the blue. For my highlight I'm using this color right here called Anonymous. So I love my E70 brushed highlight so I'm just going to press that right into the inner corner around the tear duct and then brush it back over the gray and over the rest of the colors a little bit just to keep the inner corner bright and then I'm gonna apply a little bit to my brow highlight. For the lower lash line I'm gonna start off by applying a really really bright eyeliner into the lower waterline. Uh, bright purple eyeliner I should say. This is the NYX Slide On Glide On Eyeliner in Purple Blaze. And you guys know the deal using my E21 brush to just blend that eyeliner in a little bit so it doesn't look so chunky along my lashes. And then I'm going to use that same brush to smudge some purple eyeshadow. For that I'm using Vice, which is a shimmery, like a metallic purple. Going right underneath where we put the eyeliner and smudging that along the lower lash line. I will say, give you a warning about this NYX eyeliner. It sets up really, really quickly. So if you don't work quickly, it'll start to dry and then it can flake off and kind of get in your eye. So just make sure to work fairly quickly and you should be okay. And again, I just took that purple all the way underneath and then connected it around to the outer edge. Still sticking with that same brush, gonna go back to the really bright blue that we used before. And that color is just gonna go right underneath the purple. So you can pull it all the way in if you want. If you're not comfortable with that, just stick to this outer corner right here and again connect it around. So usually if I want to soften the color on the lower lash line, I'll just take a Q-tip and just go underneath and like gently go back and forth with it. For the upper lash line, I'm using my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner in Eggplant, which is the dark purple. And I'm gonna run that along my upper lash line. And then I'm gonna add some mascara using my Maybelline one by one. So usually I love this mascara, but honestly I didn't really have the best of luck with it when I went to apply it to my other eye on the other side. It was like clumping on me, which I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that. 
I may have left the cap off or something by accident, but um, just so that it kind of matches, I'm going to lightly apply it to these lashes on this eye. And then I'm going to apply it to the lower lashes and do some falsies. For my lashes, I'm actually using the Chroma Blink False Lashes. This is the first time I've ever attempted to wear these. So, first impressions on the Blink False Lashes. They're on my face, which is good. I do like the result that I got. They were a little bit more difficult to apply than the Glimmer Lashes that I raved about in my most recent February favorites. And now that I think about it, I do remember some comments on an Instagram photo that I posted saying that they thought that the chroma lashes were not very flexible and difficult to apply. Um, I thought it was odd at the time because I thought they were really flexible and very easy to apply, but maybe those are people had tried some other sets like the Blink set. Uh, so yeah, I still really, really love the Glimmer lashes. I would definitely recommend them to anyone. The Blink, maybe. Uh, not so much if you are still practicing applying false lashes. So then for the rest of my face, I just used some of this Pink Swoon Blush by MAC. This is like the best, one of my favorite blushes for spring of all time, and we are getting springy with it. So that's the color I'm going to use today on a Real Techniques powder brush. And this is actually one of my favorite brushes for applying powder products to the face at the moment. It is just so plush and soft. It's amazing. I love it. And then on my lips, I just went with a gloss. This is the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in the color Beautiful. I really like the shade called Perfect as well. It's a little bit more peachy than this one. I went with this one because it matches the cool tone blush that I picked out a little bit better. But either one of those would look gorgeous with this look. And you could do lipstick or a tinted balm, whatever you want to do. But I think that this color shows up a lot so I like to wear this one by itself all the time so I really hope you guys enjoyed this look thank you so much for checking it out and um, this is going to be the first in a long series of spring and summer tutorials from me so keep an eye out for those and I will talk to you soon bye guys mm -hmm.